challenge how to do it and how to do it better. Mm -hmm. So, um, Juliet Fumberg, uh, raise your hand and uh, point to the cameras how they know who you are. We're (laughs) live on Facebook if you want to follow us on Facebook. And Shonda Russell. So welcome, welcome to WPVM Studio. We really appreciate you coming in. Thanks for Marketing having us. Lab Asheville, Marketing Lab AVL. What is that? Well, it kind of started from Julieta and I met a few months ago, and uh, we started talking about the common complaints we hear. I hate marketing. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to spend my money or my time. So we thought, well, how can we? We both have our own businesses. We can't just start a new company together. But how can we create a program that really could make an impact and help people feel confident, Mm -hmm. comfortable, and just really understand the ins and outs of marketing and seeing it as what it is, which is a wonderful community-building tool um, to connect with your actual audience and, you know, who really you should be um, reaching out to and Um, Yeah, and being able to kind of use our value from being, um, I run a marketing agency and she's a digital marketer and putting it together in a very valuable kind of program that could actually help people and so we can actually see them do it and help them do it. So So how did you both get started in marketing? (sighs) Um, I started pretty much as a uh, designer, but as I progress, I started about 20 years ago, and I've always been an artist and a creative, and as I started doing things for businesses, I went into marketing more and more because it really is an umbrella of all the things that I was already doing. Um, But by saying that you do marketing, then there's a value attached to it, of (laughs) course, instead of just giving it out for free because you already know these things. So um, it kind of started with the design piece and then all the other things kind of came along the way within the years of learning and, you know, seeing the results that businesses were getting from the things and advices and tools that I was giving them. So, yeah. My story is very similar. I started out as a writer and in Savannah, Georgia, and um, the businesses, you know, digital and social and all that was really starting to come to, you know, ahead. And uh, they would say, well, can you create other types of content for me? I don't understand Facebook. You know, all this stuff came out of just me um, interviewing them for articles and and connecting with them that way. So it really evolved very naturally. um, And just seeing, I mean, probably I've worked with probably more than 100 businesses Mm -hmm. at this point. I don't even know. You know what I mean? (laughs) So you just see the same patterns and you see what works and you see that, uh, just the tricks and things that really make an impact. So, right. yeah. And so, what are the, some of the common complaints that people have about marketing and the mystery of marketing? And what is it? How do I know that it's working for me? What are, give us give the listeners some hints on that? Yeah. Um, so, I think the fear that people have, where they just don't know what to do, do it. They spend five hundred dollars on an ad. You know, do they, how do they boost a Facebook post? All these different things that it's just very fear and instead of doing, they'll just not do, right? And so we are saying, you know, we, one of the things we just talked about this week was be mm-hmm. a disruptor. So you're not just going to do the same old, same old. We're going to push you to do different things and connect in different ways and really look at all the different touch points of how you can connect with your audience and mm-hmm. People always say, oh, I'm for everyone. No. You're not for well, everyone. And, and, and yeah, not only that, there's no easy button. So everything that you do for marketing, it will be customized to your business. Everybody has its own soul. <laughs> Everybody has their own uh, reason why you do what you do. So if you actually take a uh, quote-unquote marketing plan out of a package and then you try to apply that to your business, it might not work because you're not out of a package and you are selling something with a different twist because it is, you know, they're all small businesses that we're helping. They're not corporations. They're not, you know, a big brand or whatever. They're actually building that brand into whatever it is that they want it to be. So it's helping them to find that voice, make it right. And when you're marketing it, if you're looking at the numbers, what you're looking at, how to tweak them to your benefit, because you can have a lot of people seeing it, but if nobody's buying, then there's something definitely wrong. So you're still spending all this money with nobody buying. So, you know, kind of adjusting that and understanding what that means and how to improve it. And and looking at the numbers and understanding them. So that's a big piece of this, you know, the science of marketing. So mm-hmm. looking at the data 
and utilizing. I mean, some people don't go on their Google Analytics and see they don't even where's, know what their, that is. Right, where's their traffic <laughs> coming from, who are they connecting with. Yep. And, you know, po just posting on Facebook, they'll post the same things and the same kind of content. It's like, well, maybe you need to try this and be a little bit more experimental and, right. you know, tr just try different things and see what is working and always yeah. be evaluating. I think that's one piece, too, where we're going to encourage, you know, Every week, take a look at this. Every month, do a little bit deeper dive. Right. Um, and then every quarter, we dive into the business right. for them and really look at what's been effective and yeah. kind of create that strategy for the next quarter. Um, that's a big piece. Yeah, and, and make sure that, that all the, the elements that they have out in the world are consistent throughout because a lot of people, too, will open something up, like an account on whatever platform, and then they either forget about it, they don't use it, then whatever, and they just leave it abandoned or just there. And that's not good for your business because somebody might find it. If it's public, it's there for anybody to find. So, it's like that digital footprint. Yeah, like, so make sure that their presence online, offline, on paper, whatever it is, it's consistent through their business. Well, um, digital and Internet and computers have totally changed <laughs> marketing strategy and what you can learn from it. Mm -hmm. uh, what in the lab are you going to be addressing uh, that is part of the evolution of the marketing world? Sure, yeah. Uh, I think obviously getting comfortable with the different platforms, everybody typically has a Facebook page, but maybe somebody's a natural at video and needs to be doing short YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be exploring those different options and platforms and, you know, tweaking to see what would be best for their brand story and their personality. Um, I think that's important. One they can do, too, because some people might not even know how to record a video and it might not be their thing because then that will be something to stopping them from doing good marketing. That's where they start being scared about it because like oh i don't know how to do this so we'll find that thing that they do best to communicate the message for their you know product service whatever it is that they're offering but it's you know it's still just communication right it's still that's that's the key i mean yes we have all these different platforms now and all these different tools and that's a piece we mm -hmm. you know you don't have to be spread thin and be on every single you know outlet that's possible you find your you know I mean, blogging is very important. We're going to touch on basically all parts of communication, PR. Mm -hmm. um, as a writer, it's sometimes so frustrating. I'll reach out to businesses. They won't respond. Or, you know, it's free press, and it's all this great content that, that could happen. And um, they're just so busy that they're missing opportunities. So oh, totally. I think that's the big piece, too, is, like, all the different things you can do. Okay, let's see which ones you should do, but, but mm -hmm. don't miss opportunities, Um that's really well, and then there are some platforms that really you don't you might not need to because your audience is not even there uh, depending on the platform that you're in <clears throat> there is a set of people that look at it more than others it might not be for you and that's okay you don't then you don't have to like you know drive yourself crazy over trying to like oh i have to be here and do this because everybody else is doing not necessarily yeah it's whatever works for your business. There are some businesses that will only use one platform, and it works wonders for them. Again, they're not, they don't need that much, that crazy movement. They need the right ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, uh, number one, a small business does not have a bunch of stockholders and a no. big budget. <laughs> uh, and a small business always has to be able to kill two or three birds with one stone mm -hmm. because when you're in business, you're, it's your life. Yep. When you're in a small business, it's it's... It's basically, it's all on you. Yep. So uh, with technology and with the change in the way marketing can be strategized now, uh, you can do a lot with a little bit of energy. Yes. And it's not going to sap your energy for the other things that need to be done in the business. That's correct. So, um, so, so uh, let's tell the, tell the listeners a little bit how marketing has changed from hard copy, snail mail, to what we have now? So um, it has changed to the point where you can actually <clears throat> see the amount of people, actual people that are looking at the things that you're posting, the people that are having actions over the things that you're posting, which versus something that it's printed, as much as I love print with all my heart, you really cannot tell. It's kind of a yeah, guess. Action, the word you just use, action. Yes. 
That's so, important. Yeah, and you can see when people click on the things that you're mm -hmm. posting, and actually f you can follow them from, let's say you made an ad on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, and then they click and they click through all the way to your website. You can track them all the way, and within your website, you can track them as well mm -hmm. to see where they spend the most time, if they click somewhere in there, and so forth. So you can kind of... That's why we kind of called it Marketing Lab, because that is the science behind it to where you see what worked best on that whole line of things and actions that people took. And if they actually bought the product because they followed the path, mm -hmm. because when it breaks in between, that's where the there is no. Yeah, there, there was no actual, you know, mm -hmm. buying of anything. Mm -hmm. So for me, if I put an ad out there. And they follow, let's say, on Facebook. They click on there. They went on my website. They went through my services page. And then they went onto my contact page and actually fill out the form and send me an email. That's a win. Gold. Yeah, because yeah, then the rest is for me to contact them and actually sell them on kind of fin finalizing the sale. Mm -hmm. But they were actually interested in what I had to offer. So, yes. But messaging, you know, that's the key, right? I mean, no matter what the technology yeah. changes and that's what another reason we chose to do this for an entire year yeah. because there's going to be new platforms, new and they new change ideas. all the time. Yeah, every I mean, the there's time. so much that's going to happen that we will be right there with them, yeah. being able to hold their hand through it, right. push them, because uh, that's yeah. that's the key. We've we've created this kind of three part. You know, it's part marketing, coaching, mm -hmm. part accountability group, right. and part mastermind. So that was a very important for us to have all yeah. yeah have all those elements in this mix right. of these twenty small businesses that we get yeah. to work with and help them have amazing growth. And yeah, because it, it, it has changed from that to the point that it was just a, an ad on the paper to all these other tools that you can actually use to actually, you know, get your ROI, which is your return on investment from whatever you put in, that you can tweak it to the point that actually works for you. So tell us a little bit about the structure of the lab. Is it like a weekly thing, monthly thing? Uh, two year thing. What is it? <laughs> Forever. <laughs> so uh, November sixteenth is our application deadline, and uh, November twenty third is our kickoff live event at uh, Focal Point Co working in downtown Asheville. Uh, that will be a day where we kind of call them Prove Your Business Days. So we'll be kind of diving into each person's business a little bit, understanding their um, strengths and weaknesses and their fears and. What, you know, what stresses them out, because that's a big part of this, like, bring the stress down, yeah. you know, we, we can help. And then um, we'll take the month of December to do a deeper dive into each of these businesses um, and kind of create a custom strategy for the first quarter. Um, they have checklists of to-dos, all that fun stuff. Um, and then we'll have a private Facebook group where we'll be in there constantly, you know, posting, oh, we saw this great article today, or this is a great resource you need to check out. And then hopefully, you know, yeah. they'll be posting questions and wins and losses and just be this really supportive community um, through that. And then we will also have each quarter mm -hmm. another Prove Your Business Day. Um, so we'll also have a theme uh, attached to each quarter. So. so each quarter, yeah, so we can go through all the things that you do in marketing throughout the year and we refine it and we tune it and we gonna teach you how to do it and do it with you. So they, at the end of the program, the goal is for them to know marketing enough to do it if they need to, if they have in-house help to do it, or if they need to hire somebody out that they know who they need to hire. So um, mainly, yeah, we will go like step by step with all the things from your brand to your online presence, to your numbers, to how to be human about your business and how to humanize just being, you know, a person doing business with another person, not just like, here, buy my things. So because that connection is what makes customers for life. Um, I've had clients that I've had for 20 years and, hey, how are your kids? You know, <laughs> and things like that. So Well, and look at uh, Trader Joe's. Yeah, yeah, totally. How they make you feel like you're part of the family when mm -hmm. you go in there. Yeah. Yep. They and and I so I live near Trader Joe's, and I know the insanity of just daring to go into the parking lot <laughs> <laughs> because. Yeah, yeah. But you do it because you. But love I it. do it because yeah, yeah. I'm I'm like all right, so like climb Mount Everest or go to <laughs> Trader Joe's, one of the two. <laughs> but totally. it's because of the 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 hum, hum, the connections yes. 
that they bring to their business, yeah. which is really so. We want to, yeah, we want to help brands actually build, you know, warm kind of businesses, not just big corporations. We want to make sure that they're because their owners are so always so interested oh, yeah. and they're so passionate about what they do. And if so, the people that the try the clients, customers will actually see that without knowing them. That will be just yeah. it. That will that will be it. Yeah. I mean, it it's it's the story behind it that makes that product so great. Right. And that'll be a focus translating that yeah. passion. You know that we see behind the scenes. They just don't know how to bring it to the forefront of yeah, sometimes. Pretty much. So that's that's something that we'll be focusing yeah. on. I would say women-owned businesses especially mm-hmm. need to learn how to blow their own horn, and let mm-hmm. the community know exactly what oh, they're amazing, doing. Yeah. We're kind of social, especially in the South, we're socially raised mm-hmm. not to brag about what we're doing or tell mm-hmm. people about what we're doing. Mm-hmm. But uh, in business, this is what something, you have to cross that line and get totally. over that reticence of telling people what you're up to. Totally. And uh, so uh, Marketing Lab um in Asheville, what's the website and what's the Facebook page? MarketingLabABL.com. You can find out all the information in there that you need to know. Um, there's more details in there. There is a contact form, too, if you need to reach out to us. And there's an application there to apply for it. Yep. And we have been scheduling little 15-minute consultations, um, mm-hmm. phone calls with people to dive in a little bit more if they have some specific questions. We have several today. And, yeah, we, we're just so excited to see who we get to work with this year. And, you know, we're going into a new decade, right? So if we start the, year, start the decade <laughs> off right, right? That's so right. That learn the skill that is going to be invaluable and will serve you the rest of your, li- the rest of your business life. It's exactly. to create a great foundation and the right one to mm-hmm. moving forward and to create growth in your business for those times when it's good, when it's bad, and it's not so good, and you always – can count on your business to do what it needs to do for you mm-hmm. if you have a great foundation for that. So, yeah. And the address for the workshop is 125 South Lexington Avenue, number Suite 101. That's correct. And but you enter via Hilliard, is that correct? <laughs> yep, it you is. Enter because Asheville is terrain it's limited, special. and sometimes you have to go to the side door thinking uh, you're in the front door. That is true. <laughs> Well, I want to thank you ladies for coming in and thank you Facebook uh, viewers for watching and we'll return to our music. Thank you for having us. Thank you. (laughs)